now live at 5, a string of burglaries occurred overnight in the Twin Ports. We take you live to one of the several affected businesses. I'm Ryan Campo. Memorial Day goes virtual. The details coming up. Plus, the president makes his rounds to several Memorial Day ceremonies today, while a new travel ban has been put into place. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here is a live look at the aerial lift bridge. Many flags across the Northland are flown at half mast today in honor of Memorial Day. Good evening. I'm Natalie Grant. Kristen and Tony are off tonight. Thanks for joining us. Well, as I said, today is Memorial Day, the day where we honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice while serving our country. Flags around the country and right here in the Northland are being flown at half staff today in remembrance. One of, one of the first ver uh, versions of the national holiday started in 1868. It was called Decoration Day, and it was a day to decorate the graves of those who served with flowers. Now, Congress declared Memorial Day a national holiday in 1971. Since then, the country has observed the holiday on the last Monday in May. Now, this day is normally filled with ceremonies and parades honoring those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. But the COVID-19 pandemic has forced many of those ceremonies to go virtual. CBS 3's Ryan Campo has more on the funeral service that spent the day honoring those fallen vets online. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, people are still finding a way to honor our servicemen and women. Sunrise Funeral Home's normal Memorial Day ceremony in Hermantown is happening in a different way this year with switching their service online. Speakers like Congressman Pete Stauber, many veterans, and other guests that pre-recorded messages for the service showed their support for fallen veterans. Bottom line is we've got to thank our vets and our, and our veterans that, that served and died. And so many people forget that on our uh, virtual um, Memorial Day, there's some great speakers in there to tell some great stories, and I think there's a lot of kids that haven't seen war, or, you know, you hear about it, but until you actually see it or hear it firsthand, it gives you a different perspective. Now coming up tonight at 6, hear from a veteran on what it means for them to be honored despite a global pandemic. Meanwhile, Sunrise Funeral Home and Cemetery in Hermantown wasn't the only place to get creative to honor our veterans on Memorial Day. Gary New Duluth Veterans Memorial also conducted a ceremony put on the web to honor those fallen vets. It's not about me or it's not about the honor guard. It's about honoring those that have given up uh, uh, their lives uh, for not only their, their brothers in arms, but for this nation and, and the republic and, and everything that this country stands for. The ceremony honored those military personnel from the far west communities of Duluth who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And down in the Twin Cities today at Fort Snelling National Cemetery, they also held a virtual wreath laying ceremony. You can see the members of the Fort Snelling Rifle Squad giving their 21 gun salute while wearing masks. The virtual tribute featured all the dignitaries that are always there for the in-person ceremony, including U.S. Senators Tina Smith and Amy Klobuchar, as well as Governor Tim Walls. John Knapp, the deputy director of the ceremony, addressed how hard the decision was to cancel the in-person ceremony this year. The CDC guidelines, we can't have groups of 10 or more people, and we usually get three to 5,000 people for the ceremony. So it was a difficult decision, but the decision was made. It was made at all national cemeteries across the United States. There was also a private wreath laying ceremony there early this morning. Families are still invited to come out, pay their tributes to their loved ones, and they are invited to leave flowers and other tributes as well. Turning things over to meteorologist Caitlin Moffat that's with us now. It's kind of a gloomy Memorial Day here. We're tracking some rain in the forecast. Yes, yeah, several areas have seen showers, thunderstorms kind of move through the region all afternoon, and we're not quite out of the woods just yet. So looking at the Doppler and radar right now, you can kind of see off to the east, you'll need, notice that very large cell that kind of worked its way through northern Wisconsin and into the Ironwood region that has moved off well to the east, but there's several more cells continuing continuing to develop. You'll notice over on the Minnesota side, we've got more cells starting to kind of pop southwest of Brainerd, and they're going to continue to move north up the Iron Range. But if I show here the lightning on the Doppler and satellite, you can kind of see those cells that have lightning associated with it. So not all of those cells are thunderstorms. However, they have the potential to come into thunderstorms. So keep that in mind as you're out this evening. If you are grilling, remain sky aware. These cells are going to continue to pop all night long into Tuesday. Temperatures remain very warm this evening and they're going to continue to rain, remain warm through Tuesday. So I'll have details and timing coming up in just a bit. All right, thanks, Caitlin. 
A string of robberies last night between Duluth, Hermantown, and Superior. All the stores similar in nature, either gas stations, smoke shops, or liquor stores. Now here's a map of the location hit around the Twin Ports. Stores burglarized include Piedmont Liquor, Super Smoke CBD and Vape Shop in Superior, and Hermantown Corner Store, just to name a few. CBS 3's John Cardinelli is live from the Hermantown Corner Store. He spoke to the owner earlier today about the incident. John, what did he have to say? Natalie, I spoke with Derek Medved earlier today. He owns the gas station here in Hermantown. He told me that late last night, a burglar walked up to this door and smashed the glass. That's when the alarms at the store went off and the burglar took off. Luckily, nothing was stolen. Medved's gas station was just one of several Twin Ports businesses broken into last night. At this point, the Duluth Police Department says it's unclear at this time whether the burglaries are connected. In total so far, about less than $1,000 worth of stolen product between the robberies. No one is currently in custody. Medved says this is a reminder to keep an eye out for suspicious activity within your neighborhood. Things like this happens, and I think no matter what, we're just uh, vigilant about it, and we understand what happens, and we can move forward from there and keep it a close eye on the neighborhood, uh, you know, moving forward. And so that's going to be important. You know, always, uh, you know, if you see something, say something. And so I encourage the neighborhood to, to keep a close eye on your neighbors and your family and friends, and if you see something, say something. Medved said they do have security footage of the suspect breaking the glass and will be turning it over to the police. He also added last year there was a similar robbery at his store where around $8,000 worth of cigarettes were stolen. And Natalie, the investigation is still ongoing. If you have any information in regards to these string of robberies, you are asked to contact the Duluth Police Department. All right. Thanks, John. That's useful information there. Americans are, making, are marking a non-traditional Memorial Day in light of the coronavirus restrictions. Virtual or limited ceremonies are replacing the typical parades and in-person gatherings to honor the nation's fallen heroes. CBS's Tom Hansen reports from the Intre Intrepid sea, sea, Air and Space Museum. President Trump laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery and honored the nation's war dead at Baltimore's Fort McHenry. Today we honor the heroes we have lost. We pray for the loved ones they left behind. There was no audience for Virginia's Memorial Day ceremony at the state's War Museum, but it was streamed virtually. Although we are practicing social distancing to prevent the spread of COVID-19, we are united in our hearts in remembering our fallen. A similar scene for the commemoration at Dallas-Fort Worth National Cemetery and at Jefferson Barracks in Missouri. Service members wore masks at an event in Houston with special acknowledgement for the National Guard on the front lines of COVID-19. We want to be grateful today, we want to be thankful today, and we want to be hopeful today. Fleet Week here in New York City was canceled, and the annual Memorial Day commemoration aboard the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York went virtual. Wreaths were laid in the Hudson River, followed by taps and a unique performance from the U.S. Navy Band. You have 30 minutes remaining. And in the nation's capital, retired Marine Staff Sergeant Tim Chambers wrapped up his vigil, bringing awareness to veteran suicides. He stood at attention at the intersection of Constitution Avenue and 23rd Street Northwest for 24 hours. Spectators were emotional. It's a crime of it. Go. We have fought in a demonstration of service for those who have bravely served. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York. Still to come on Live at 5, over 2,000 pounds of fish were donated this past weekend to one Wisconsin community. City by City is next. The Garage, it's your space. Get a garage fit for all of your agricultural needs with our Farmer 40 by 40 Garage. Store all the equipment needed to get the job done. No matter what you put in your space, trust us to build it right. Economy Garages, built right, priced right. Do you have trouble falling asleep or wake up with a sore neck or headache? Then it's time you discovered my pillow. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. Ten years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. 
I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. Take advantage of my famous offer and get two my pillow premiums for one low price. Call or go to mypillow.com. Be sure to use the promo code and I'll give you free shipping. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. I'm Jim from Jim for All Construction, a certified Tamco contractor. What does that mean for you? Tamco's full line of roofing and decking products allow me to offer the best options to homeowners. The average contractor can only offer 10 years. At Prawl Construction, we provide a full coverage, 15-year labor and material warranty on residential and commercial buildings. Nobody can offer a better warranty than this. Give us a call today to find out what Jim Prawl Construction and Tamco can do for you. Duke is a man of few words and many songs. Let's It's 102.5. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Welcome back to Live at 5. Here is a live look at Ashland, Wisconsin, where the sun seems to be poking out a little bit, but it's still a little damp from the rain that they've been experiencing throughout the day. Caitlin Moffitt will be in soon with your full forecast. But first, from fishing to gardening, many are getting out of the house and giving back to their community during the COVID-19 pandemic. We tell those stories as we take you around the Northland, city by city. A gardening initiative in Virginia called Growing Together has installed raised gardening beds in Northside Jefferson Park. Fifteen of those beds were installed last week. Now, to build and fill the individual garden beds, the group is welcoming donations. Sponsorship of a bed are being offered for a one-time donation of $185. Each sponsored gardening bed will display a wooden plaque with the name of the sponsor or business. Now, there are five gardening sites throughout Virginia with a total of 55 plants in plots rather, where area residents can rent the area to grow their own food and flowers each season. And over in Bayfield, Wisconsin, over the weekend, the Red Cliff Band donated more than 2,000 pounds of fish to the community. It was all a part of their community fish project to feed the Red Cliff Band members and Madeline Island communities. Now, over the past three weeks, the Red Cliff Band has been purchasing fish for the Red Cliff tribal fishing boats and distributing them. Tribal leaders say that this is all in an effort to keep the community safe during the pandemic. Now, if there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think that we should know about, send us an email. It might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. Still to come at Live at 5, the COVID-19 pandemic is taking a toll on Hollywood. How, how your blockbuster hits are taking a hit. And currently it's cloudy here in Duluth, but not much rain has fallen for us in the Twin Ports. I'm still expecting some showers and storms to move in throughout Tuesday. Those details coming up next. For the news that impacts you most, turn to live local CBS 3. Wake up with Austin and Jenna at 5 a.m. Do you need help with debt relief? Call Yvonne Mashad Novak Law to get expert legal advice today. Call 218 720 2888. Has your roof seen its better days? Call Peak Construction Roofing today for your free estimate at guaranteed affordable rates. Peak Construction can finance you and will help you step-by-step step from start to finish. All the best. Peak Construction Roofing. They'll do the rest. Let us take care of you. Before using Olia, my hair color was less vibrant. I had to rescue it. Olia, hair color powered by 60% oils, no ammonia. The color is really rich, and it looks healthier than before I colored it. My hair is happy right now. Olia by Garnier Naturally. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Wash your hands. Avoid sick people and touching your face. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. The 2020 Subaru Forester. The SUV for all you love. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus 33 miles per gallon. Standard EyeSight driver assist technology. A spacious and comfortable interior. The best SUV for all you do. 
Get 0% APR financing on all new 2020 Subaru Forester models now through June 1st. Visit us online at MillerHill.com. Summer is here with Crestliner at Ray Sport and Marine. Catch Eye on Parenting every Thursday at 6 with me, Leanne Valdez on CBS 3. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW, cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Jim Peralt. It's been quite a gloomy Memorial Day for much of the region on both Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the UP. We've been tracking several showers and thunderstorms have they've moved through since this morning. Now, Duluth hasn't seen much activity in terms of thunderstorms. We did see a few light rain showers earlier this afternoon, but taking a wider view, you'll notice we've got a low pressure up to the north. So we've got some rain kind of moving through Ironwood, but we've got another low down to the south of Omaha. So we've kind of got two low pressure systems, and with the two of them, that brings in another round of showers and thunderstorms storms as they move north this evening into Tuesday evening. So we still got another whole day worth of showers and thunderstorms. Now right now in the Doppler and Silent, you'll notice we've got cells starting to pop up throughout the Iron Range and kind of into Grand Rapids and even through Brainerd. Duluth is just on the cloudier side, seeing some rain just off to the west. As for northern Wisconsin, we've got some cells popping just south of Ashland as they had a quite a larger cell kind of move into Ironwood earlier this afternoon. But taking a look at the lightning on these cells, not all of them are associated with thunderstorms. Now, a few of these cells are just producing light rain showers, which, of course, is much needed. But for those that are seeing the lightning, especially up on the Iron Range, you'll see those lightning strikes kind of associated with those cells, as well as those areas in Ironwood. So keep that in mind. If you do see those, you're going to want to head indoors. You're going to continue to see those chances tonight all the way through Wednesday morning. So we've got these two lows sitting over top of us for Tuesday, one to the north and one to the south. So that brings in that chance for a widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms all day on Tuesday. We'll be at a high near 70 up on the hill, but another gloomy day is expected throughout Tuesday. The system, which is moving so slowly, does finally move off to the east. We've got some lingering showers in northern Wisconsin and the UP early Wednesday morning, and that's ahead of that high pressure that will kind of slide in, move clouds out of the way. We'll see 79 degrees, near 80 for much areas off to the west, our warmest day out of the week. But then a cold front slides through Thursday. So this cold front could spark a few showers, but otherwise we'll see mostly sunny skies and a high near 71. So temperatures do kind of drop off a couple of degrees because of that cold front. So time it now for you here on the Futurecast, 10 o'clock tonight. You'll notice now Wisconsin saw much of the activity this afternoon. So now tonight, much of the activity is going to be kind of focused northwest of Minnesota, off west of Duluth, I should say. We're going to still remain dry for most of the night. We'll see some scattered showers move through the region. Some cells could produce isolated thunder and lightning. So keep that in mind. It becomes more widespread Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. You'll notice those cells continue to move through. And then by Tuesday evening, I'm more concerned for severe thunderstorms, which could produce some hail in northern Wisconsin that moved through the Ironwood area. Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning is when I'm expecting these larger cells to kind of pop with the uh, instability and those warm temperatures that we've been seeing. So Wednesday morning, you'll notice by 11 o'clock, just a few sprinkles left in northern Wisconsin, but we've got clear skies off to the west, so that system finally does move out on Wednesday. Rainfall, we're looking at about half an inch for us here in the Twin Ports. Several areas, though, could see an inch to an inch and a half in northern Wisconsin. So those areas were going to be hit the hardest in terms of rainfall. Tonight, very mild across the region. Temperatures in the 50s, low 60s. Temp uh, winds out of the east at 4 to 6. Tomorrow, temperatures warm back up into the 70s and low 80s for northern Wisconsin, but also dealing with several thunderstorms and showers. So Tuesday is going to almost be identical to what we saw today. A little bit more rain activity for Tuesday for mostly everyone, because today we kind of were a little bit on the drier side. But after Tuesday, we've got a Beautiful stretch of weather. I did have to lower a few of these temperatures yeah, from yesterday. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. <laughs> but because of a cold front, temperatures are cooled off a bit, but still right on average. So still plenty of sunshine. Beautiful. Still a beautiful week to come. Yes. Thanks, Caitlin. Memorial Day typically kicks off the blockbuster season at box offices. But as Chris Martinez reports, the coronavirus pandemic has Hollywood studios unsure about the future of their big summer releases. Kids may use the same. Even as much of the country slowly begins to reopen, most movie theaters remain shut down. 
bad news for an industry hoping to cash in on the summer season. How big of a loss is this for the studios? I mean, it's sort of immeasurable. Variety Magazine's Matt Donnelly says the coronavirus pandemic has left Hollywood's summer blockbusters up in the air. Some, like Marvel's Black Widow, have been postponed for months. Others, like the latest Fast and Furious flick, moved all the way to next year. But you're talking about films that are built to potentially gross up to a billion dollars worldwide. It's income theaters and studios rely on, and the loss comes at a time when customer loyalty seems fragile. A recent survey found 70% of moviegoers would prefer to watch a new release from home, while only 13% prefer the theater. Fire! Just last week, the Tom Hanks World War II drama Greyhound dropped its June theater plans and will instead release on Apple TV+. I think it's a, a pretty sort of deadly forecast for what uh, the theater owners here in the U.S. are up against. Still, at least one studio is moving ahead with their summer plans for now. Warner Brothers intends to release Christopher Nolan's Tenet on July 17th, hoping to jumpstart the box office. Industry experts say if it is released, the film's success or failure could signal if other would-be blockbusters will ultimately see the light of summer. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Warner Brothers says that they have contingency plans for a tenant if theaters aren't fully open by July and could move the release date to August or beyond. Still to come on Live at 5, another 4th of July event has been postponed this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, where you can look for updates. My 95.7 is the Northland's best variety all day. From Ed Sheeran and Maroon 5 to Lady Gaga and Brian Adams. Always family and office friendly. My 95.7, your life, your music. Two of the greatest athletes in the world are competing on our new show, Game On. Some trivia questions. Can't wait. And one of a kind challenges. But nothing too dangerous. Like human darts and danger sit-ups. Okay, that literally has the word danger in it. You won't want to miss it. Come and get it. Elite athletes, epic challenges. Game on. Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on CBS. As businesses reopen, it's important to support the shops, dealerships, and service providers who hire local workers and drive our economy. I don't know anybody that works at Amazon, but I have friends and neighbors who work at local businesses. You can help. Spend your money here. Shop local when you shop online. Mini deliver or have curbside pickup. And they're keeping things safe for you. Remember this when you buy and support local. Invest in the Northland. The Glen Sheen murders are the most well-known murder in Duluth, but that has nothing on this story. CBS 3's Anthony Mann brought you the Digging Deeper exclusive of a Duluth man's determination to uncover the truth behind one of the city's darkest mysteries. Now, we've been honored with a regional Merle Award for hard news reporting. Award-winning journalism you can trust from live local CBS 3. We want to say thank you. Thank you. To the first responders. Thank you. To the truck drivers. And delivery people. Thank you. Thank you. To the doctors. And the nurses. And all the hospital workers. The grocery store workers. The janitors. And sanitation workers. Show them kindness, patience, and gratitude. They are the real heroes. Thank you for all of your bravery and hard work. Thank you all. Powerful change occurs when people unite. We unite people to activate positive change, to make lives better. Help us fight for what's right for all, basic needs, access to health care, a good education, and financial stability. There's strength in numbers. Join us and live united. HLUnitedWay.org. 
DBS, your all things basement company. Does your home have uneven or sloping floors? How about cracked drywall, stair stepping cracks, or bowed basement walls? You may have a problem with your foundation. Call the specialists at DBS. They thoroughly inspect your property and provide a permanent solution to your foundation problem. We offer a fully transferable warranty, unmatched in our area. Contact DBS, your all things basement company, for a free, no obligation estimate. Call or visit us online. DBS, helping your family have a healthy, safe, and comfortable home. Superior's 4th of July parade has now been postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This comes from a post on the Citizens 4th of July Committee website. They also said it was a possible that the parade could be held at a later date. Any updates will be posted on their website. And as a reminder, the 4th of July fireworks will still be held, but this year they'll be at the Superior Fairgrounds. A crash in rural Cass County Sunday afternoon left one man injured. According to the Minnesota State Patrol, the crash happened just before 5 o'clock on Highway 371 at mile marker 89 in Shinobi Township. The State Patrol says 57-year-old Gregory Clark of Watertown, Minnesota, was traveling south when he went off the road, hit a guardrail, and caused the vehicle to overturn. He was then flown to a St. Cloud hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Alcohol is not believed to be a factor. Clark was not wearing a seatbelt. Duluth City Council President Gary Anderson announced his endorsement for Jen McEwen earlier today. McEwen is challenging first-term incumbent Eric Simonson for the District 7 seat. She also received the support of the Minnesota DFL earlier this month. The two will face off during the primary election in August. And it is now that time of the show where we get to talk about pets. Well, today's furry friend comes to us from Precious Paws Humane Society in Chisholm. Meet Panda. Panda is very outgoing friendly and is quite the talker with several different distinct mouths depending on what he wants from you. Pando also loves to talk with other cats in the shelter and he doesn't mind small dogs. He loves when people talk to him and loves to be brushed as well. He also likes to be up high looking down and enjoys chilling on his cat tree. Now if you'd like to be the home for Panda you can set up an appointment by calling the number on your screen. A string of burglaries occurred in the Twin Cities overnight. It's unclear whether the incidents are related. We'll be right back. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Purdy Lawn Service, offering mowing, fertilizing, aerating, landscaping, and snow removal in the Duluth Superior area. Call 218-341-9860 for free estimates and visit us on Facebook. Purdy Lawn Service, unbeatable quality and service. Now hiring seasonal and full-time employees. Right now, millions of people and billions of devices are connected to the Internet. Homes, businesses, hospitals schools. The security and reliability of these connections are more important than ever. That's why at MediaCom, we've built a network to protect them. A network that sees threats, fixes problems before they occur, and keeps you going with 99.99% .99 network reliability. Northwest Outlet Store is open. Yes, Northwest Outlet is open for business, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now get up to 40% off store-wide on clothing, up to 40% off on footwear, up to 40% off on fishing, up to 40% off on camping, up to 40% off store-wide at Northwest Outlet. Yes, Northwest Outlet now open for business, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Online 24-7, curbside pickup during store hours, 1814 Pelnap, Superior. Coming up tonight on the CBS 3 News at 6, a string of burglaries occurred overnight in the Twin Ports. We speak to local business owners as they are cleaning up after the break-ins. Catch Eye on Parenting every Thursday at 6 with me, Leanne Valdez on CBS 3. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Welcome back to Live at Five. Here is a look at Grand Rapids, where it seems to be pretty dry right now. But as Caitlin mentioned, they should expect to see some showers overnight and into Tuesday. But first, let's take a look back at our top stories at Five. 
A string of burglaries occur occurred in the Twin Ports overnight. It's unclear as of now whether the incidents are connected. It's all under an open investiga investigation. All reported thefts were less than $1,000. Now, it's Memorial Day, and many are having to change their traditions due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and some in the Northland are taking those ceremonies online. And coming up tonight at 6, a, big, a group of Iron Range motorcyclists decided to ride, ride, for the fallen, ride for the fallen while practicing social distancing. We take you to Key Watton as they ride to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. So Caitlin joins us now. Um, talk us through the rest of the night with these storms coming in here. Yeah, so we do have some showers and thunderstorms for much of the region to kind of be aware of the rest of the evening. So if you are outside or grilling or just enjoying some uh, fresh air, in some spots it is dry, but there is some several cells you can kind of see here on the top one side that are continuing to kind of pop up and develop. So northern Wisconsin's much drier than they were just a couple of hours ago, but now Minnesota is seeing several cells starting to kind of pop throughout the Iron Range and just west of Duluth, so through Brainerd, Grand Rapids, and then up north of that way. Now a few of them are associated with lightning, of course, so Keep that in mind as well. We're going to continue to see these chances, though, all night into tomorrow and then into tomorrow night. So these storms aren't quite finished just yet, but it is much needed rain that we really need. The Wisconsin, some areas saw about an inch. We're expected a half inch here in Duluth. So it's good news to see the rain, and then we've got a beautiful seven day. Wonderful. Thanks, Caitlin. We'll definitely keep our eyes on the sky tonight. Well, that's all for your news at five. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you right back here at six.